Welcome to Christ Life Today, where we explore the glorious realities of life in Jesus Christ. Hello, my name is Robert Dahlman. I am one of the directors here at Christ Life Inc. And uh, I've got a short message for you right now, and it's entitled, Are You a Berean? If you're not a Berean, I hope after this message you will commit to being one. Some of you are thinking, what's a Berean? Some of you already know. But either way, let the Lord encourage you with his word today. Um, so I'm going to read to you uh, from Acts chapter 17, two verses, 10 and 11. And it says, And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind, and searched the scriptures daily to see whether those things were true, to see whether these things were so. So let's get the picture here now. The Apostle Paul had been preaching in Thessalonica. As usual, he started a riot or something like that. Often he started revivals at the same time. Uh, but there was problems in Thessalonica, and so they sent Paul away by night uh, to Berea. So Paul and Silas went to Berea from Thessalonica. They went to Berea. And immediately started to preach the gospel, as was Paul's case, uh, uh, what he did all the time. Preach the gospel. Everywhere he went, preach the gospel. So he started preaching the gospel in Berea. And the Bible tells us that they received what Paul said with all readiness of mind. And then they searched the scriptures daily to see if what Paul was teaching them was true. Now remember, the Bereans only had Old Testament to search. And interestingly enough, as a little aside note, if you look at Peter's sermons in Acts and Stephen's sermon in Acts, uh, you see that they preached a lot of Old Testament. Well, Paul preached in Berea, and these people searched the scriptures, basically the Old Testament, to see if what Paul was telling them was true. So if you want to avoid deception, be Bereans. Search the scriptures daily, no matter who's preaching to you. Search the scriptures daily to see if what they're telling you is true. Now, I find this very interesting. Uh, the Bereans were listening to the Apostle Paul preaching, and the Holy Spirit, through Luke, who wrote the book of Acts, sees fit to commend the Bereans, and he calls the Bereans, he says, they were more noble than those in Thessalonica. The Holy Spirit gives the Bereans a pat on the back, saying, good job, guys. Why? For testing the words of the Apostle Paul against the Scriptures. So, if the Bereans did a good thing by checking out the Apostle Paul, we should check out everything else that anybody else preaches to us. If it was good for the Bereans to check out the Apostle Paul, it, was good, it should be good for us to check out uh, every other preacher who tells us anything. Now, I've got two last things I want to say uh, in this matter. First of all, I would say if any preacher or teacher tells you or, or scolds you for asking them a question about something they taught, you should be cautious. I never want anyone to believe what I say just because I said it. I want people to search the scriptures daily to see if what I'm saying is true. Any good teacher or preacher is going to encourage you, take notes, check out what I taught. 
They're not going to be afraid of the Bible. Anyone who says things like, touch not the Lord's anointed, uh, which we have a message on that, um, in light of, how dare you question me? Now, having said that, we have to be respectful. We shouldn't be nitpicky, you know. Uh, we need to do it decently and in order, but never receive right to the heart without first checking the scriptures. So check everybody out. I hope you're taking notes. Check me out because I don't want anyone to believe what I say just because I said it. The last thing I want to make note of is uh, in the Bible, Paul wrote two letters to the Thessalonians. A big part of both of those letters is correction of their uh, embracing false doctrine, false teaching. In one case, the Thessalonians thought they missed the Lord's return. So they didn't search the scriptures like the Bereans did. So there's two letters in the Bible to the Thessalonians correcting and fixing things from the Apostle Paul, but there are no letters in the Bible to the Bereans. Why? Well, we can't say for sure. But I tend to believe that the Bereans didn't need to have a letter written to them correcting them on things because they searched the scriptures daily to see if whatever anyone was preaching was true. Oh, they were eager and ready to listen, but they took notes, they searched the scriptures daily to verify if it was true or not. Paul didn't have to write them any letters. To me, that's not surprising. So, bottom line, be a Berean. Search the scriptures to verify everything you're taught, no matter who's teaching it. Test it against the word of God. Go out in the power of his might, knowing the word, and bless others as you teach what you've gotten for yourself out of the Bible. Take care and God bless. Thank you for watching this broadcast. For more information about the ministry God has entrusted to us, please visit our website at www.christ-like.net. Our Christ Life site offers many free downloadable resources. We hope you will visit us online soon and that our ministry will bless and strengthen your Christian life.